Hi, my name is Beth Sharp, and I am the Worldwide Technical Leader for SAP Modernization with AWS. My name is Adrian Souza. I am a Senior Partner Solution Architect at AWS. In this session, Adrian will demonstrate a powerful use case on how SAP ABAP developers can improve their productivity using the SAP ABAP Assistant powered by Amazon Bedrock. I'm going to turn it over to Adrian. Thank you, Beth. We will start with an overview of the SAP ABAP Assistant, followed by a demo, architecture, and next steps. SAP customers are embarking on digital transformation program, including Rise with SAP. As part of the transformation program, analyzing ABAP code can be challenging due to lack of quality documentation and lack of bandwidth of ABAP developers. Also, ABAP developers spend significant time searching for code snippets, reducing productivity and impacting deadlines. With the SAP ABAP Assistant, customers can accelerate delivery of ABAP code by generating code snippets with natural language prompts and generate documentation for custom and standard ABAP programs, improving productivity, accelerating transformation, and helping to keep SAP core clean. Now, let me show you the demo. The SAP ABAP Assistant is an Eclipse plugin, which I've installed in Eclipse. Once installed, you will see a new menu called Ask Bedrock with submenus to generate ABAP code and ABAP documentation. You will also see a dedicated preferences pane where you need to enter the AWS region, the foundation model ID, and the name of the AWS profile for authentication. Here you can see I'm using the Anthropic Cloud 3 Sonnet large language model. I have also onboarded an SAP S4 HANA system and a SAP business technology platform ABAP environment here in my Eclipse. Let me first walk you through the process of generating the ABAP code. I need an ABAP code to retrieve and display the material data from table Mara. For this, I have written a few prompts in simple English to define a structure, an internal table, selecting the data from table Mara, and to display the data in ALV format. I will then select these lines of prompts and invoke the SAP ABAP Assistant using the menu Ask Bedrock, ABAP Code Assistant. The SAP ABAP Assistant will then send these lines of prompt to Anthropic Cloud 3 Sonnet Foundation model using the Amazon Bedrock APIs, and the code is displayed back here in the editor. I can review the generated code and modify it as per my requirements. I will activate the code. I can see there are no syntax errors. I'll go ahead and run the above code. Now I'm able to see the material data displayed in the form of a table. Next, I'll walk you through the process of generating the ABAP documentation. I have opened a standard SAP program, rh underscore get underscore address, and I want to understand the logic of this program. For this, I will select all the lines of ABAP code, and I will invoke the SAP ABAP assistant using the menu Ask Bedrock, ABAP Documentation Assistant. The SAP ABAP assistant will then send these lines of ABAP code to Anthropic Cloud 3 Sonnet model using the Bedrock APIs and the response which is the documentation, is displayed in a separate console at the bottom of the Eclipse IDE. I will then go through the step-by-step -step documentation and go through the logic of the program, followed by a summary. Now I know that this code retrieves the address information based on various input parameters and populates the address table with the retrieved address data. The SAP ABAP Assistant uses two key AWS services, one Amazon Bedrock and two AWS IAM Identity Center. Amazon Bedrock is a fully managed service that makes high performing foundation models from leading AI startups and Amazon available for your use via a single API, along with a broad set of capabilities you need to build generative AI applications with security, privacy, and responsible AI. SAP ABAP Assistant provides support for authentication through the AWS IAM Identity Center. You can create and manage user identities or easily connect to your existing identity source so you can centrally manage access to AWS. Here is the architecture of the SAP ABAP Assistant. The first step is authentication where the developer uses AWS command line interface to authenticate with the AWS IAM Identity Center. In the second step, the developer installs the SAP ABAP Assistant plugin in Eclipse and opens an ABAP program 
from the SCP system already onboarded to Eclipse. The developer either selects a block of ABAP code to generate documentation or writes prompt in simple English for the code required and then invokes the ABAP assistant plugin in Eclipse. In the final step, the SCP ABAP assistant invokes the Amazon Bedrock service to generate ABAP code and documentation and displays the results back in Eclipse. Now you know how you can use Amazon Bedrock along with supported foundation models to assist in ABAP code generation and ABAP documentation. The SAP ABAP Assistant can enhance your team's efficiency and productivity while accelerating the digital transformation program. Over to you, Beth, for the next steps. Thank you, Adrian. Uh, for next steps, please reach out to Adrian and I or your account team for more information on the SAP ABAP Assistant. As next steps, we will work with you to understand your use cases and share generative AI on AWS training opportunities for both you and your team. We can work towards a proof of concept with help from our experts who can guide you through generative AI journeys on solving diverse business problems, aligning business and technical stakeholders, and building an executable roadmap. We hope this video will help you on your SAP generative AI on AWS innovation journey. Thank you for spending time exploring our SAP ABAB Assistant on AWS.